prison in a cage with invisible walls The wicked sight, guys of life, making grown men crawl On their knees, begging please, save us from the boogeymen Funded by the CIA, funneled through Arabian banks Like a shank to the neck, they hit you from the back No sweat, ho check and watch it shake And take away your freedom, you really don't need them When you're tucked away safe and protected by FEMA Then you must be a dreamer, like the great pretender Ask the second amendment, why I'll never surrender But I'll never plead a fifth when it comes to September I'ma yell it from the roof and expose the agenda It's time to wake up and open your eyes to the matrix This is going out to the troopers and patriots Living free and dying hard, speaking through battle scars An army of one becomes a global resistance Time to wake up and open your eyes to the matrix This is going out to the Permanent patriot Finishing up on some bullshit with ISIS Now, which is never gonna end by the way until we fucking end it Now I love George Nori. I love Coast to Coast AM. I did highly, highly respect and look up to David Wilcox. But that's in the past. They all work for COINTELPRO. And uh, I'm just not going to listen to their fucking indoctrinating anymore. <clears throat> Let me show you how uh, you can... How watching TV can make you a bumbling fucking moron. And at the University of Texas, published separate findings, both indicate that up to 8% of the human genome comes from viruses and not from our ancestral DNA. Now, when you hear shit like that, that we come from viruses, 8% of human genetic material comes from a virus and not from our genetic DNA you're in another fucking world so I had to shut this off I uh, fucking watched an hour and a half of it and 15 fucking minutes left I gotta shut it off and who the fuck knows what other fallacies and lies they told me during the whole fucking hour and a half. ISIS cuts off the hands of four kids for stealing food and toys. Jewish kids. ISIS. What do you think they're going to do? Roast marshmallows? These people fuck goats. Get the fuck off my screen, you schmuck. Muslim husband dragged his wife to death all because she served him dinner late. Top Muslim cleric calls her ban on chess. Because it's a waste of time and encourages gambling. The Czech president, the only fucking one with a brain around here, says refugees should be fighting ISIS, not invading Europe. They're fucking roaming the highways by the hundreds and by the thousands and stopping traffic and raping people and killing them. Making Europe the Middle East. Muslim refugee raped 72 year old in her own backyard. Oh, that's not good enough for ya. Headline not good enough. Let this sink in. Israeli Defense Force shielding Arab kids from Gaza rockets. Do you know who is firing the rockets from Gaza? The fucking Israelis. Hello. McFly. Nuts Netanyahu. That's who's behind it. That fucking guy's got some. He's a few sandwiches short of a picnic basket. Don't let him fool ya.
So none of this has to do with the fucking people. None of it. This is the fucking governments going after each other. This is governments, this is how they get their power. By running false flags, you know, uh, creating shit and then saying other people did it. Hitler started that. Well, I'm sure it was way before Hitler. Hitler did that with the Reichstag. He bombed his own fucking place, and then he said the Polacks did it. So what did he do? He fucking invaded Poland. Now Barry's using it. Now Nuts is using it. Now everyone's gonna use it. Worldwide, the government is not on your side. People around the world, citizens around the world, need to fucking take up arms and take on the governments and the bankers and the fucking, the real terrorists, like these cocksuckers. I mean, geez, even some Mexican drug cartels protect their own fucking neighborhood. Their own people. These fucking scumbags, they don't give a fuck who you are, where you're from, what you speak, what color you are, what your religion is, where you took a shit in the morning. They don't care. They'll just chop your fucking head off. They'll fuck you in the ass and burn you. They'll take your books and destroy your ancient relics. They'll just fucking completely annihilate you from the face of the earth. And you're going to sit in your fucking house watching football. Hooray for you. I hope your team won. Five major threats facing Israel in the near future. And they all have to do with Israel. 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 That's, that, that's the major threat. Israeli Defense Force. Is, I mean, it never did don't fucking end. Palestinian children from Gaza undergo emergency heart surgery in Israel. And then they bomb the fucking hospital. War crime! Facebook's mapping system recognizes Palestine, but not Israel. They don't even have them on the fucking map. There's, there's no Israel on the map. There's nothing there. No cities, no nothing. Netanyahu gave Obama the book of Esther as a gift. Does anybody know what that is? I don't, but I'm, I'm sure I can put two and two together. Obama leaks confidential info on Israel's nuke program to Iran. Folks, this man works for ISIS. He's beating their fucking drum. The other man is a complete fucking looney tune run by the Rothschilds. Obama is also, when it comes down to it, run by the Rothschilds, but he's got a different agenda. He's with the Soros group and uh, Kissinger and those fucking slimers. Nuts is on a whole new fucking level. I mean, they, they both kill their own people. What the fucking, what the fuck have you done? If there was ever two fucking people that should have their fucking head chopped off, and that should be burned at the fucking stake, you're looking at them. Folks, I'll tell you what's brewing, and it ain't fucking good. Uh, Iran and Saudi Arabia are starting to fucking be pretty bad right now. That is not fucking good. Watch that Iran and Saudi Arabia shit. Because uh, I can see people staging shit to get that going. 
that would completely destroy the fucking Middle East. Turkey, what a fucking bunch of sellouts. Just when you think there's a decent fucking country, and a lot of them. I mean, Turkey and Jordan are like the only decent fucking ones left. Kuwait. Look what that fucking got. Yeah, God hates the Jews. Jews killed Jesus. That's... Does disaster strike America every time it pressures Israel? Israel runs the fucking White House. They run Congress. Israel runs Congress. Period. Period. Israel runs Congress. New Palestinian online game educates violence, not peace. Which is why you shouldn't have your kids playing fucking video games. Why don't you have them read a damn book? Tell them to go play with their fucking friends outside. Go fucking build a treehouse or some shit. Jesus fucking Christ, man. What the fuck do you people do with your kids? Fucking kids showing devil horns and... <laughs> I don't know if you fucking parents out there, you see your kids doing this shit, you know. Yeah, uh, they're not being sexy or, you know, funny. That's some fucking evil devilish shit. And I'm fucking sick of seeing it, man. I'm going to start just fucking calling people out right on Facebook. I don't give a fuck. It's fucking disgusting the way you people raise your fucking kids. And someone like me who actually gives a damn ain't fucking got any. Get the fuck off my screen.